so far, we're doing really good with the Million Dollar Challenge. Be ready for that video. But right now, you're gonna check out Pissing Off the D, my trike, the Decatur Swap Meet, this Impala, and I don't even know what else the millennials are gonna put in there. So check it out, Decatur Swap Meet. Uh, this is Thursday, the starting day. I'm pretty fired up because back in the day when we were trying to start Gas Monkey, this was like our winter thing. Uh, you know, this is what started the year for us. It was the first swap meet of the year. And if I didn't find some good treasures out here, some good cars to buy that I could flip later on, then my year was off to a shitty start. So uh, it's been a few years since I've been out here, uh, a little bit of COVID problems and a little bit of uh, getting away from discovery, but uh, let's go check it out. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find. This is what we're talking about right here. Got the smoker going, cold beer going, beautiful sunny day. One man's junk is another man's treasure. I don't think I can sneak up on any deals these days. <laughs> they see my face, the price doubles. Be on TV. Oh, YouTube, we love TV. Man, I was yeah, looking last year, TV. you bought something for me for Peyton. I never saw it on video on TV. Yeah, you bought the seal cabinet, put it up in your store, a little cabinet, uh, seal, seal. Seal on it, red cabinet. Oh, like a safety cabinet? Yeah, safety yeah, cabinet. Yeah, I haven't hung it up yet, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I have a lot more issues. This is rad, the entire thing. It's got your name written all over What's man. the story behind it? Uh, man, I got it from my buddy, and I really don't have much history on it at all. Does it the, twist? or? That, yeah, it twists around the wind, but the other side says Estrada. I'm not real sure what Estrada means. I haven't looked at that, I don't know. It's Eric Estrada, man, from Chips. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> How much is that? 1600 mm. Just for you. It's pretty cool, though. I don't think. Found anything today? I literally just got out here, and uh, we were actually had to go out to Bridgeport for something, and I remember we were driving by, and I was like, holy cow, yeah, we better this stop. thing's going down. Here. Yeah, the one we made, and we ended up painting it green. Yeah, yeah that was like episode uh, three or four. Three, three, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had that uh, Zephyr. Uh -huh. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I got a killer a 39 while. Zephyr right now. Builder or not no? Um, 100% original car except for the seat cover. Really? Never been a part. Three window Zephyr. Never been wrecked. Never been painted on. Never been nothing. Uh, just 100% stock. V12 still in. Kind of money you got? I paid a hundred just you to get it back. Uh, I paid too much, but I wanted it. That was a long time ago. We're talking 2012. I bought the gasser out here, and we ended up making it into a gasser called uh, Monkey Business. And it was like episode two or three, I believe. Look at that. This technology cracks me up because now. I could piss off an unsuspecting D at her office just by sending her stuff and tell her I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna tell her that we bought ourselves a Sasquatch. Anybody seeing what I'm seeing? Tell me about your little three-wheeler rig here. So it came from California. Lady drove out there named Rose. She passed away a couple years ago and special ordered it. What do you mean special ordered? Was it? She had to go order and then go pick it up. Is there a certain? The 70s. Do you know a company or? It's been sitting at her place for a long time. She died of COVID a couple of years ago. So they put some rear views on here so the passenger can see what was going on? I guess so. Have you, have you got it running? And it's running. Yeah, it'll run. Well, fired up. Let's hear it. Imagine helmets. Yeah. Has it got a tire? I haven't started it today, but it started yesterday. Has it got a title? So I got the paperwork. We couldn't find the title. I got it where I bought the, you know, I paid for it now. I don't even know if it's in neutral. It ain't gonna go anywhere anyway. I would definitely check if it's in neutral though. Right. <laughs> Sounds like the battery's dead. You're in gear. I might have to pump it. Is it here? Oh yeah, try that.
you have you ridden it? Does it kick through the gears? Went around the block. Yeah. I can't. Where they got it? It's so short. It's a Volkswagen, so I don't know. I didn't know whether it was a Volkswagen. Uh, yeah. I couldn't find the gears really, but it did go in all four. Are these the wheels that were on it? This is how I bought it. Oh, Daphne's gonna be mad. How about three grand? Cash right there? 32. How about 31? I could do 31. Cool. I own it. 31. All right. Thank you, sir. I need to uh, take a picture of a, this document and a picture of your driver's license. I'll be good to go. So, boom. Green truck, gas monkey green, money's green. We're 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 bought, done. All I got to do is go pick it up at his house next weekend because we didn't bring a trailer. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, super cool. I'm excited about that. Plus, it's going to piss Daphne off. She hated the last one I had. Three days later. Ah, I'm back with the little goblin trike. Let's go get the guys to figure out what they say, what they think about it. Jesus, kitty punch. Or do you, I don't care. Holy smoke. Jesus Christ. See, it's not so many though. No, but it's, it's the haul, mini. but it's the haul, all the minis. Oh, it's the haul of the mini. It's to add to I, the uh, collection. I like how the fuel line is the lowest hanging item on the Kenny, Green God, Goblin here. So, Kenny, this is what we need to teach you. When he sends you to go buy stuff, you just tell him, no, nah, I was real bad. <laughs> it didn't look good. <laughs> Why did you bring this back? He had already bought it. But it's not. I just had to pick it up. Supposedly, it's not, it's not great, but it's like it's Super 70s. So it's not bad. It's still in good condition. I mean, we he said... Mm -hmm. He said it doesn't. It doesn't start up right now. The battery's dead. Okay. But it does. I mean, we could like haul it behind that ugly Mustang he bought too. <laughs> they both match. Oh my but god. Here's the cool thing though. What? Not only is it, it has a seat. The seat okay. doesn't fly off. Yeah. Oh, um, it's got a king queen. No, it's uh, got a matching pack. Well. And not only a matching pack. Matching oh, it's helmets. Matching helmets. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh. What the? Rose? <laughs> Rose? Uh-huh. I can't see it. Ooh, don't, don't, put well, it don't put it on your head. <laughs> no, we're going to have to rename those for Josh and Mike. No, no, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you and Ricky can do this one. I ain't riding that. I've already spotted three fuel filters. I don't exactly, know. that's what I'm saying. Y'all are riding that. That's a hey. Volkswagen hey. with a seat on it. Yeah. We've got some uh, household wire nuts here. I have you know most don't, Volkswagens don't have seats, that. Josh. <laughs> hey, I saw that. Most Volkswagens have seats. More reason why y'all can ride it this time. Because the last time I touched something, I blew the transmission Did across the parking seat? lot. Remember? There's a seat yeah. right here. Oh, there you go. Oh, so you just sit down inside of it? Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm. I'll drive it. Go for it, Mike. Let's get it down. I'll, I'll drive it. Right. it you gotta ride it down. We're just gonna unstrap it tilt the bed and you just do the rest so he mentioned that the lady special ordered this back in the 70s uh, i didn't get the backstory on it so i'm not sure yeah. so richard was trying to tell us a little bit about it we did, obviously didn't know what it was i had no idea what it looked like i was just holding an address and head that way and here it is man but now that you guys are here you guys want to help me out to be able to unload us because i don't know if richard told you off but i actually got to go pick something else up right now I gotta go pick up 61 Impala station. Well, we won't, we won't notice you're gone again. Promise. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <that's laughs> pretty damn comfy. Ricky, get up there. Get up there, Rod. Rod in there. Come on, Ricky. Get in there, Ricky. He's even got pegs for you. Oh, yours is more comfortable than oh, mine, I bet. Seat. Yeah. You got a wide berth back here. Hold on, bro. Oh. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Dang, Richard didn't see it before he got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't even have to hold on. You guys are so cool. Actually, not bad. It feels pretty good. It's pretty comfortable, dude. Like, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I like this mirror right here, too. I long, mean, no, well, you long be ride to where you're already... How many mirrors? Look, there's two mirrors there, two mirrors here, and mirrors here. You never should get rear-ended. 
You should always know where everyone is well, on the road. I can't really see where anything out of this mirror. You just sit back and let me worry all about right, that. Right. <laughs> Jelly, it takes uh, Has anybody got a Marlboro? <laughs> <laughs> I need a Marlboro and a cheer. <laughs> Josh, you gotta understand, this is, this is to see traffic and this is so I can see my <laughs> <laughs> Do a gas tank, bro. Long ride. Are you doing that? No. Hey, get, put it out of gear. Put it in neutral. We <laughs> yeah. don't know how. It's a regular Volkswagen shifter, is what he said. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's just like a Volkswagen. There we go. We're all I just hold the clutch. Oh. Does that what mean? I can't find neutral. Well, you try. Jammed up now. Don't hit the Yeah, you are in this right? I don't think so. Should be. Whee! I wish it ran, dude. Yeah. Push <laughs> the clutch in. Push the clutch in. Wow, still going real well. Are you going to start turning? Whee! Come on, Kenny, push. Push, Kenny. And this, this is just like... We gotta go this way. Hold on. It won't make that turn. <laughs> it looks like the steering's nice and hot. Yeah. Whoa! Hey. Watch your mirrors! Watch your mirrors! <laughs> Which one do we pick? I don't know. This oh, one. that's what these are for, so we can watch as we're pushing them. Oh, okay. This one's for, for I can I can see you perfect. Nice. Where are we going? I don't know. Right there, it looks like. Right here? Look at that awesome Well, he said there. it started, so go get a jump box. Or just pull it in. It's cold yeah. out here. It's pretty cold. We need to go straight to the booth anyway and put a cup holder back here. Why are y'all complaining? Y'all are the ones riding it. We're not complaining. Here's the key. It's a lot We're smarter to work on it in the warm, you know? We're not, why is it bent? Okay. We we'll chew on it to see if it's a real key. It did. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> There's no jumpy light again, boy. Here. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. Ease it in there, Mike. That motherfucker going to hit in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you look at the foot on the clutch. Where's the battery at, Kenny? Underneath it. Do you have the little jump box? I don't have a fifth on that. Is there a choke? That smell, gas Maybe. smells bad. No. The boat, the boat fill? <laughs> what is this, dude? This ain't got no brakes, dude. And I can't jump off, so that's not good. No, I, I, it ain't got no brakes. Don't be scared. Just if you aim for the, if you go to the fence, try not to hit a pole, just hit fence. Yeah, chain link will catch you. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I don't trust myself. Let's see if we can make this work. I don't know that we want to make it no, work. No, let's bust it off. That's easy to say when it got no brakes. Richards hit the fence. It's your turn. How does it not have any brakes? Huh? Oh. No, you did it wrong, Kenny. It's probably got him backwards. I'm hungry, I'm out of here. No, no, if I'm gonna die, you're gonna die with me. <sighs> Think gave me a dirty butt. Let's just push it. Alright, so we got the trike unloaded, it's right here behind us. Robeck's off, it's ready to go. Now we just need to go get some fuel, and then we're gonna be off to Mineral Wells to pick up the 61 Impala. We got our goodie bag ready to go. It's time to go. Even though on the weather app it says that it's supposed to be a high 74 today, it is still 47 degrees and windy. And it's I'm in shorts. I should have worn pants. But at least I got this gas monkey flannel.
What's the story on this thing? I bought that and uh, I think it was in 86 and I've been sitting on it. You know, I'm headed out there west of town where I used to live. My mm -hmm. ex-wife lives there now. Well, fucking things have been sitting there since 85 or 86, whenever I bought it, I can't remember. And uh, so all of a sudden, her new husband decides that this thing's got to go. And wow. so we moved it last week. <laughs> and I was trying to tell my son, hey, hold up. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I'm trying to work a deal with Gas Monkey to come mm -hmm. and get the thing. Well, he's a lot like me. He's very impatient. So he went over <laughs> and got it. And he, it hadn't been here a week. Well, <laughs> well now it's going to be gone even more. Yeah, it's going to be gone. I'm going to take but, it back. This is a classic, dude. Look at this thing. Open this little thing. Do you know how this works? No. Oh. You crank that, and it rolls the window down, and then you have a latch inside. You reach in there and open the tailgate. Oh. i never seen that before. Yeah. And look at these tailgate, uh, tail lights. Bullet. We might have some of these laying around the shop. I bet you probably do. He, ha he has a whole bunch of tail lights, a whole box. Does he? Yep. But the old thing, uh, really, body shape was. It's actually not bad. It is pretty clean. And I'm not sure exactly. I was thinking that in 57 was the last year they made the Nomad. Or not 67, but 57. Mm -hmm. And then we got to looking. Well, hell, there's there's some uh, 61s and 60s and 61 uh, Nomad station wagons that are uh, that are out there for sale that people have. Uh, Mm -hmm. you know restored and brought back to life yeah i mean they're cool looking things i like the, the station yeah. wagon on it yeah it's not a bad deal well all right get that plate off there and you guys <laughs> do your business and uh, i'll get out of your head Dynamic for brick going down the road. Doors aren't even rusty, they ain't got no holes in them. Headliner fell apart, but. It's not bad, it's pretty good. I think it's a good one. Alright, let's get on the road, get back. You're the man, brother. Thank you, appreciate, appreciate it. You. Yes, sir. And you can say your, your final goodbyes on the way out. Peace and love. Have a good one. And we're back to the shop. With a title. With a title. Doors aren't rusted out. Man. Not an Impala guy, but this is pretty cool. Shut your mouth. Shut Josh, your mouth. What, what are these Shut for, your man? mouth. That's for high that, speed that's, turns. Is that landing gear? Like yes. A... Look at the look at the back though. He pointed this thing out. Josh, did you know about this? What? Now you can roll the window down. With the cap? You can roll the window down and then it's open like put it. your groceries in, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a tailgate. It's aerodynamic. You see how big the fuel tank is on this thing? That's to get cross country. Yeah. Bro. You know, we, like, yeah, we, we have, have to. We fucking bag it. Throw a fucking. Mm hmm. 
fucked up. I'll leave it ugly. Even yeah, leave like, it ugly. I like the potato. Put it on some steelies. Get the uh, or wagons. Get the interior done. Hey, I, I can do the seats. Hey, you remember? Oh god. No, you can't. We saw your upholstery. Hey, it's better than yours. Y'all you know those twenty-inch wagons with the billet, with the billet lift front of them? Uh huh. That would be kind of cool on too, because of that blue. Dude, it's stock white walls, just on his balls. Fifteens. 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 Let's keep it real. Just you ain't got, like you don't have a bunch of room. Whoa, whoa, room. Yeah. So that are some thirteen-inch gold D's. <laughs> I'm gonna get this off and put it over here. Tires aren't really that good, so I'm gonna go in the back. I'm gonna try to find some tires, or maybe a whole wheel and tire. See if we can find some. And then we're gonna pull it inside, clean it out, clean it up, throw all the trash out, and see what we actually got. And then go from there. So I'm gonna take the front tires off. I think we have some in the back that should bolt right up, and they're brand new tires and black steelies. So. Rear should be fine, but the front has the the pin spindle for everything. So hopefully the bore on the wheel is the right one that goes in. We're gonna get a hammer for that. Look at that. I didn't even see it. It's, good. it's running away from me. It can run away. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with spiders or anything crawling out of this thing. But I guess I didn't even think about it. It wasn't a field. We have had a snake come out before out of a car. That wasn't fun at all. That really just happened. Yeah, let's not talk about that. It was missing that from the beginning. I just imagine this thing either on bags or on hydraulics, cruising down the street, all, all up in the front, pretty low in the rear. Now that's a pretty good frame. Lifted the rear up and the whole front came up with it. Out of the maze. It's scary back there. There's so many things you don't even know if they're good or bad. That's so much better. Actually, has some tires on there that that'll make it roll a lot easier. And the black steelies actually look really good on it. With the blue all faded and the uh, patina up top. It's a good looking car now. Yeah, you break some more studs? No, I did not. And I don't know what studs you're talking about. I didn't, I didn't break anything. Hey, uh, you know, we got a bunch of cans of this stuff in there called knocker loose, liquid wrench, super penetrant. Yeah, we don't have any knocker loose, I know, but you put that on there next time in the beginning. It didn't break it off when I was taking it off. And who did it while he was tightening it? They're just that old. I guess, I don't know. I've never had one break like that before. Have you? Uh, yeah. While tightening it? I mean, I've had them no. break while loosening them. Yeah. When they're rusty on the end and they don't want to turn no more. But ever tightening it. And that wasn't even tied on the rim yet, was it? Now you need to rip all that interior out and she's ready for set. Who's ready to clean this thing up? Hopefully there's nothing alive in here that can crawl out and bite. We'll keep that one on the side.
there. I clean more than you did. Ah. Oh, safe. Are you sure about that? Hey, there's a towel in here if you want to take a shower when you're done. Towel? Yeah, right there, there's a towel. Ah. Oh, God! <laughs> Just kidding. I was hoping it was near you. If it was Ricky, it probably would have. Ricky gets scared pretty easily. Yeah, I know. You, see a lot of you, can, fit, you can fit a body in there. Maybe everybody, two. Everybody says that. This is the dumbest shit ever. Have you ever put a body in, in a trunk? Do you really want to ask me that? Yeah, I do. I have. Whose? What do you mean, whose? Whose body did you put in a trunk? My cousin's. Why? We don't have to go into why. We just said we had to get in somewhere. And the best place to hide him was in the trunk. But he was alive. Yeah, he was alive, obviously. Well, this story sucks. I thought you killed your cousin. <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't know. I mean, I know I have some issues with some cousins, but I don't think I'd go that far. Is that luggage rack in there? Does that whole thing pop open? It's a spare tire. I thought the spare tire was in there. Did not open it up. I bet it's a spare tire. Maybe it's still in there. Oh, would you look at that? God damn it, I'm smart. You're just old. Look at you, so young and happy. Where do the years go? I want to see what's underneath that back seat. Because if those kids in there, you know they drop shit. We might find an old metal yeah. matchbox or something. Might find a matchbox, you might find, yeah, coins, rings, rat shit. Definitely. More than likely rat shit. Yeah. I never yeah, found anything. I found, anything I found cool. a little rat's nest in the, in the headliner. Yeah. I don't know why they like the headliner. I hate it. There's nothing there. I mean, maybe I, it's maybe it's like a little uh, what are those a hammock for rats? I was about to say it might, it might feel like a little bed for them floating in the air. Yeah, a little rat hammock or a loft or a loft. That's the loft. Hey baby, I got a high rise loft. Let's look under the back seat. Oh god. Yeah, uh, definitely a rat nest. Oh, maybe we'll find a corpse. Ricky, I found a lug nut. Oh, there you go. Were you missing one? <laughs> missing, no, it's, it's missing two. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, I found a brush. There's Here, a my, you might need it. There's a good thing. You might need it for your I hair. Don't need that. You know I don't. That's me. For his hair. There's a fork. Oh, a little action figure. Yeah. Little Star Wars character. Mm -hmm. So cleaning is done, which is why I'm actually able to sit in the seat without being freaked out of a spider or something coming out and biting me. But everything's cleaned out. It's actually in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of rust here and there. Nothing too bad or structural, but now it's time to get it over in the wash bay and actually wash the outside, clean these jams up a little bit. And then the windows, see how much we can bring it back to life. And then see what Richard wants after that. Cleaned up, soaked it, cleaned it, scrubbed it. We gotta do a little bit more scrubbing on the glass, but that's gonna be the last thing. And then put it over there, see what Richard thinks whenever he gets back. We did okay on this. We had a little bit of expense in picking it up. 
and uh, a few t-shirts, but we just sold it for $6,500, and uh, that's pretty good profit if I do say so myself. Everybody was tagging me on the post. And they were like, Classics, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick ass. So dude, this is what I do. A 61 Chevy Nomad, basically 1959 to 1964 Chevy. Wagons, four doors. I'll do occasional two doors, you know? How much money did I leave on the table? Huh? How much money did I leave that, on the table? What's it really worth? top secret stuff, man. I can't give all, give all, all the Okay, we'll do that <laughs> off camera. We'll do that off camera. But the way my phone was ringing, I was like, dude, damn. I was going to tell you, dude, if you run into these, just call me. Just call me. That's all you got to do. I'll do it. Absolutely. I'm serious. So, uh, everybody was tagging me on the post. Miguel, what, 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 where are you at? How did Richard get this before you? And I was like, <laughs> I, had, I already bought the car. Especially since you it was know? already in Mineral Wells is where I got it. Dude, that's like so close. I know, right? Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Of course, man. Thank you. I'll end up putting an engine transmission in it. And, uh... Cleaning it up, I might do an interior kit or something, you know? Yeah. Um, maybe fix a little bit of the rust. But this is my specialty, man. You know, uh, I'm really big into the patina. Yeah. Patina cars. So this is pretty much what I deal with, man. 1958 through 1964 Chevy Impala Bel Air. Uh, mostly four doors and station wagons. Yeah. So yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I got a lot of uh, overseas customers that I deal with. Australia, Sweden all over the place man so right on yeah man. yeah i saw this one online right away i hit up richard i said let me have that car so got it here we are loading it up man right on it's cool so, that you're into the bigger ones man yeah yeah, yeah. it's cool man it's, it's cool it. yeah thank you i appreciate it but like my rod Kenny, you don't go with the car man <laughs> Sorry guys, that's all for now. Tune in again next week.